Hi, welcome to Mayhem in the Kitchen with Mary this week. And this week we're going to be making a comfort food. This food is good for fall, um, Thanksgiving. That's a, always a traditional meal is those chicken and dumplings. And so we're going to make some easy chicken and dumplings. My sister, she takes a lot of time making out, rolling out her dumplings, making them by hand. But I have found that Mary Lee's has a great frozen dumplings that are almost as good as homemade. Not quite, but almost there. So good that you'll be able to pass them off to your friends and family as I slaved and slaved over rolling out those dumplings and cooking them all just for you. Now, the first thing I did, it takes a while to make chicken and dumplings. So, I went ahead, made them beforehand, and here is the end result. Yummy! I can't wait to eat some more of this. Yes, I've already sampled some. Now, what I did was go ahead and take a half of a cup, excuse me, a fourth of a cup of butter, and I put it into my pan, and I melted it down. Then I took my carrots. These are canned carrots. I just cut up in slices and fourths. They were already in slices and I cut them up in force in little chunks. I took my carrots, threw them over in the pan with the butter, and I also took a half an onion, a small yellow onion, chopped it up, diced it real small, and put it in with the carrots. Then I got them good for about six minutes, simmered and melted and cooked. Then I put them over into my stock pot that you can see that's over here, maybe right here. And I have a large stock pot because I wasn't sure how much of the dumplings would make because I was going to make a bigger portion. So I took that carrot and onion and butter mix and I put them in the stock pot and then I added two of these containers of chicken broth. And these are 32 ounce containers of chicken broth. So you pour them in there, you put it all together, then you add a half a cup of all purpose flour. You throw it in there and you cook it down. You bring it to a bowl. Then you begin adding your dumplings. Now they're going to come out in a package that looks like this. You're only going to use half of them. Okay? And each one of them is going to look like this. And you're just going to take it and tear it into small pieces, just like this. And then you have them pre-cut in before you start putting them in. So then I just started adding them and stirring them, adding them and stirring them. The key to making sure your dumplings are of a good consistency and not too thick, you don't want them to stick together. So you keep on stirring it. Once you have all your dumplings in, you're going to stir it, bring it to a boil, and then after you bring it to a boil, you're going to put a lid on it and you're gonna simmer it for about 30 minutes. Then, after you're finished simmering, and you're gonna stir all this time, stir those dumplings, make sure they don't stick. Then, you're going to add, this is what I did, a, cre a one can of cream of celery soup. I also in, uh, added one can of cream of chicken soup. Then, I wanted it to be a little bit thicker, so I added a little bit more flour. I can't tell you exactly how much I added. I just kind of sprinkled it in there. And then I stirred it and stirred it. For 10 minutes, you're gonna let it cook. Keep stirring, keep stirring those dumplings. And then you're also gonna add some parsley to it. What I did was just sprinkled some parsley in it. And while it was stirring for 10 minutes, it was all cooking together. And last part, I also added some eggs too. I wanted to tell you that some people like eggs. I added two boiled eggs chopped up very finely inside and I put that in in the last 10 minutes along with the parsley. Now, the last part of it is to salt and pepper it to your taste. I let everyone kind of salt and pepper to their own taste because some people like a little bit more. When you're finished, you have this yummy, yummy, yummy comfort food, easy chicken and dumplings forgot to tell you, you're going to have to add chicken in that last 10 minutes too. And what I did was just added three cans of canned, of canned chicken breast. Or you can add rotisserie chicken, or you can add any kind of boiled chicken that you want to the mixture. 
you put it in and that's it folks easy chicken and dumplings i hope you're all staying safe we miss you guys so much we love you take care of yourself i want to shout out to miss jean elders over at parks and recs department she says she watches me each week and i just want to say hello to her so you take care you guys and that is it for this week with mayhem in the kitchen with mary bye y'all